Ever wonder how some of your favorite games are structured, brick by brick, room by room? Dive into the foundational layers of game design with us today as we explore the world of basic geometry and BSP brushes in Unreal Engine 5. If you've ever wanted to transform a simple cube into an immersive room or level, then you're in the right place. Basic shapes to intricate rooms, we're about to embark on a journey that will elevate your game design skills to the next level. Welcome back to Ranger Realm Studios. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on unlocking the secrets of Unreal Engine 5. Last time we took a deep dive into the viewport navigation. Now we're stepping it up with basic geometry and binary space partitioning brushes or BSP brushes for short. Today we will start to build our first small game. Let's not waste any time and jump straight into it. First, let's create a new level. Click on file, new level, and then select basic. Create. Basic will create a new level with a floor, some lighting, and a few other extras that make the scene feel more alive. And save your level under file, save current level, go ahead and in the content folder that is already selected, right click into this area, make a new folder and call it maps. Select your new maps folder, rename your map and hit save. Our first map. Now keep in mind Unreal Engine doesn't like space bars in these kind of things so if you want to separate words I would suggest using an underscore or just ignore the space and capitalize each new word. Now on the left panel Go to shapes. This is your basic building block store. You have various shapes including a cube, sphere, cylinder, cone, and a plane. These shapes are more than enough for you to prototype a level before you have any art assets done. So let's play around with them. First, take a cube, drag it into your scene. Go ahead and use the blue arrow to move it up until it's flush with the floor. And let's take a sphere, drag it in as well, and place it on top of the cube. If you need to, you can Move in closer, make sure it's nice and centered above the cube. Move the sphere up a little bit as well. And now you made yourself a little pillar or a statue or whatever you would like to call this. Do you remember the scene hierarchy we talked about in one of our previous videos? Go ahead and make the sphere a child of the cube. This allows us to always move it around together. From here, you can then manipulate this geometry in multiple different ways using the W, Q, E, and R key. You can change how you manipulate an object in your scene. With Q, you enter selection mode. This allows you to select objects. If you hold control while clicking on an object, you will be able to select multiple objects. W is the move tool. Using the arrows, you can move the objects around. E is the rotation tool. This allows you to rotate your objects into your desired angles. And R is your scaling tool, which you can change the scale of your objects. Or you can also go into your details panel of the selected object and manipulate the location, rotation, and scale. With this alone, you could create a decent block out of your level, but let's take it a step further and take a look at BSP brushes. They will allow us to create much more detailed objects that could give our levels a much better feeling. Go back to your place actors panel on the left side, and this time choose geometry. Here we have similar shapes as the shapes tab with addition of different types of stairs. But for now, let's create a room for our level. Drag a box into the viewport. Do you notice the difference between the two cubes we've already added? In our details panel, you will now see all the details for the box we just added. Under brush settings, we will go ahead and increase the X, Y, and Z to 800, 800, and 400. Then go ahead and move the box up so it is flush with the floor. Maybe down just a little bit. You can see the small blue squares around your box, which would make it much easier to align inside of your world. Next, under brush settings, check the hollow button. This will hollow out the cube and create a room for us. You can then change the wall thickness to your desired thickness. But without a door, we can't get into our newly created room. So let's add another box into our scene. Change X, Y, and Z to 150, 
150 and 250 and drag the box into the wall so it overlaps where you want to place the door. Next in the details panel, move down the brush type and change from additive to subtractive. This will then cut out an exact section of the box you are using. Congratulations, you just built your first room. Now you will notice in the world outliner, there's a small plus and minus next to the box brushes that we used. That way you can see if it is an additive or subtractive object. Now go ahead and pause the video and add some windows and decorate the room a little with the pillar you just created. One little quick tip before you get started, you can duplicate objects in your scene by pressing Alt and dragging them around. This however will not take the child with it, so in order to take the child with it you will have to select both objects, Alt and Drag. Keep that in mind for the windows you're about to create. You can just duplicate the box you already have, set the subtractive, or bring in a new box. Or if you want to use a different shape window, go ahead and do that as well. Now a quick recap. BSP brushes serve as the basic building blocks of a level in Unreal Engine. They are primitive geometric shapes like cubes and cylinders that you can manipulate and use directly within the Unreal Engine editor. These brushes can be used for level prototyping and basic geometry construction. They are commonly used for gray boxing or rough layout planning to quickly prototype your level's spatial arrangement. This allows you to visualize and iterate on your level's design before finalizing it with more detailed assets. While BSP brushes are useful for blocking out level geometry, Epic Games and any reputable game development studio would recommend to eventually replace them with static meshes for detailed and optimized environments. BSP brushes may not be suitable for the final, polished version of a level. Unless, of course, you are planning a level that is supposed to look like this. Once you are done, don't forget to save your level once again by hitting the save icon to the top left or going under file and save current level. And once you finish building out your little room, go ahead and hit the green play button up here. This will allow you to play your level in the viewport editor or right click into your scene and click play from here. That will then spawn your third person character. Click into the scene, that way it activates it. You can use your mouse to then move around your character and using the WASD keys, you can then move around in your level. Go ahead and explore the beautiful room that you just created. In order to quit the game, simply hit the escape key on your keyboard. And that's it! We've journeyed through the fascinating world of basic geometry in Unreal Engine 5, understanding the core essence of modifying shapes to craft our visions. Today we learned how a simple shape can become a cornerstone of a stunning room and how using the add and subtract features can shape your game levels with precision before your final art assets are done. Now, if you find this insightful and are eager for more deep dives into the universe of game design, smash that like button if you learned something new, subscribe for more content like this, and don't forget to hit notification bell so you're always in the loop. 